Hello, friends. If you find yourself behind the wheel of a Nissan with a little blue button on the steering wheel in the near future, that's a feature called Pro Pilot Assist. And today, we're going to take it for a spin. Hi, I'm Brittany. Before we go out on the road, there's five things you need to know about Pro Pilot Assist. I'm going to tell you what is Pro Pilot Assist, how to activate it, understanding the display, the hands-on detection, and some examples of system limitations. So Brittany, what exactly is Pro Pilot Assist? Pro Pilot Assist is a hands-on driver assistance system intended for limited access expressways. All right, break that down for me in normal people, non-engineer terms. Okay, you have to have your hands on the wheel. Okay. It's intended for the highway, and it will use the gas, brake, and steering. So as long as I keep my hands on the wheel, the vehicle will steer for me? Yes. Keep me in the center of the lane? Yes. Even around curves? Yes. So Brittany, what about heavy traffic situations? Oh, well, heavy traffic is where ProPilot Assist shines the most. If you come to a stop from the vehicle in front of you, it'll hold you at that stop, and then when that vehicle goes, your vehicle will go. If you're stopped for more than three seconds, okay. though, all you have to do is hit resume or lightly tap the accelerator. And off you go again. And off you go again. So Brittany, you're on the engineering team that helped develop ProPilot Assist. Mm -hmm. I heard you guys did a lot of driving. We did. We have logged nearly 200,000 miles across America driving on all different types of roads, all different types of lane markers. Now, Brittany, how do I turn it on? Well, have you ever used cruise control before? I have used cruise control. Well, it's just like that. All right. So start by hitting the big blue button. I love that, that turns blue button. The that turns the system on. OK. And then once you're in your lane, going at your speed that you desire to go, you okay. hit set. Oh, so set sets it. Good to go. It's on. Yep. And then resume, just like cruise control, increase my speed. Set decreases my speed. What's this button on the left here? That is your distance control setting, and that will control the distance to the vehicle in front of you. Okay. One for your more aggressive drivers, three for your more conservative drivers. More space, less more space. space. Yep. yep. Very cool. And then how do I turn it off? Um, you can either tap the brake or hit cancel, just like you would with cruise control today. And I'm ready to start it up again. Hit resume. Absolutely. Awesome. So Brittany, what's on this screen in front of me? So at the top, you'll see your set speed. Right above your vehicle, you'll see three horizontal lines. That's your distance setting to the vehicle ahead of you, which we talked about controlling on the steering wheel. Okay. And the vertical lines next to you are your steering assist. When those are green, along with the steering wheel right next to it, means your steering assist is active and you'll feel it start centering you in that lane. So when those lines are green, that means the camera has seen the lanes and the vehicle is maintaining center. Exactly. So you need two consistent clear lane markers on either side of the vehicle. Okay. Once, it's, once the camera sees those, you'll hear a single chime and then they'll go green. If for any time you lose the lane markers or they're non-existent, the lanes will drop and they'll go gray. You'll hear two chimes. But your intelligent cruise control will still be working. So one chime, system's up and running. Two chimes, it's for some reason disengaged, turned off. Correct. Cool. So there are some system limitations you need to know about. The camera behind the rear view mirror controls steering assist. And if you can't see it, it can't see it. Okay, so if there's like a lot of sun going on or something that's reflecting off of the lanes. Yep, if you need your sun visor, it needs a sun visor. Good if you know. can't see the lines, it can't see the lines. If the lines don't exist, it can't see the lines either. So Brittany, what about um, heavy rain, heavy snow, ice? So for rain, if your wipers are on low or high, steering assist will deactivate. Okay. But if you're on intermittent, it'll work just fine. Cool. As for snow and ice, if your radar is blocked up front, you'll get a message in your cluster to tell you that you need to clean it off. Okay. And finally, please remember that although ProPilot Assist is a big step toward the fully autonomous Nissans of the future, it's a driver assist system, meaning the driver will always be in control of the vehicle. And one last reminder to please always keep your hands on the wheel. We hope you enjoy your experience and are as excited as we are. Thanks for watching.